everybody, welcome back to another edition of Chroma Technology 2 here on the CT2 server. I'm Katiana. We are back here in the hidey hole with my very loud cat. Things are a little bit different today and I need to change a bunch of my settings around here. It's a little confusing because today we upgraded to 1.10, which is the newest version of CT2, which is great. This is like very cool. And they added some additional quests to several of the chapters. So for example, the scanner and scanner upgrades got added to the getting started section. I haven't gone through to figure out where all new quests have been added. Um, Akumidori is going to be so, so very happy um, because I come in here, I gotta find it. So there is a mod called Adorn, which apparently has got a bunch of different tables and lamps and furniture and, and stuff like that. So Akumidori is going to lose her mind there as far as being able to do decorations and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to doing a bunch of these as well because we could do coffee tables and little side tables and things like that. That's going to be so cool to set up a bunch of these in the library. I think that's very, very, very cool. Um, and then there's also chairs and look at that. It's Mr. Crayfish's more furniture mob mod. Bleh. Oh my gosh. Then Mr. Crayfish's is like Akumidori's favorite furniture mod of all time and it got added to the pack in 110 so she is super excited about being able to do furniture so adding tables and chairs and all this other stuff she is super excited so a few things we've noticed um first of all when i logged in i transferred my waypoints over and my journey map and like this entire grid here was gone. Like it was no longer mapped out. It was blank. Even after I transferred my journey map over, it was just gone. No idea where it had gone. It's just gone. So I went and ran around there really quick to fill it back in. Um... I think so this area over here where Jordy's base originally was and there's Potox's place there's Shifter's base which I didn't realize he's not that far from the collection of dragons there's five dragon nests boom 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 and there's a sixth one so there's six dragons lined up right there I believe we've taken care of all of those there's a Shifter's island base right there And then I think it's way down, down here. There's Jordy's place there, or that's where Jordy's hanging out right now. I think it's way down here somewhere is where Akumidori found her beach. I can't even find it. It's so far down off the map. Oh my gosh. But we discovered that apparently there might be a bug in that claimed chunks are not protecting you from creepers blowing things up. That, ooh, that's assuming... Yeah, I have these things claimed. They're still showing as claimed, but apparently the creepers are still causing creeper holes. So we need to be extra cautious um, while that's probably getting checked out. 
so that we don't lose something important like our Batania um, portal and, and other very, very, very important things because that would be bad. So you can see that the vines have been growing like I wanted them to overnight. We've got vines for days. They're going like crazy over here. They're growing on the side of the building there. We've got all kinds of vines, which is exactly what we wanted. So we have a good stockpile of vines for being able to make rubber. So I'm happy about that. And all we have to do is fill our bucket with water, which we will oops, pop back over here. I don't know how many times I do that. Pop those down here. Wrap these around, and that gives me one rubber. So just to start, but we have now lots and lots of vines available for us to be able to make rubber. So that is pretty cool. That will come in very, very handy. So I want to do a little bit of rearranging in here before we get going on tonight's projects. So first thing I want to do, I want to grab our two um, energizing rods. And I want to grab my diamond anvil. And I want to grab the battery box. Okay. And then I want to go upstairs. Grab energy pipes. Okay. Then if I take my energy pipes and extend them this way, so we do this, this, take that out, this, 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 this. this. Now we've got that running into the corner. Okay. So now, if I take my battery box and I set it here, it's going to have to recharge, but it's going to give me, I think, a little more flexibility because I can put the diamond anvil on top, like so, which is exactly what I did before, but then I can put three rods on this um, battery box. So I can do one over here, and I can do one here, and they'll be within range of this energizing orb. I can put a third one on that side. And now this frees up the tops and bottoms along the side here for me to put these new machines. And then I'm going to continue this all the way down the line here to make a bunch more so that we can start making a bunch of thermal machines and start dropping them in place. So I believe I have my universal cable. I'll run those down here. And we need to make more energy pipe. Okay, so there's one. And then if I put these last two in there, it makes two. All right, that gives me 16 of those. I'm going to take these and we're going to and let's go ahead and take this out. Oops. Now we'll put 
put this in there and pop them away there. Okay, so now we've got a whole bunch of room. Pop some more coal. That's interesting. Why did I get pain? Interesting. There we go. Am I taking pain from the pipe? And grab some of this, grab some of you, grab you as well. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know what was causing that. Anyway, so now we have a little more flexibility because now the energy pipe is only connected to the battery box on one side. I still have the capability of adding the six batteries here to maximize its... Um, maximize its space. I think I used the battery for, that I had for something else already, but I can make six batteries, put them in there, and really make that capacity a lot um, larger. But I, then I can also upgrade the rods. But that if I increase the capacity on that, these will be able to charge items without being a drain on my machines that I have running along this line. So what I want to work on is knocking out more of these machines because I want to get a full complement of all of the potential machines and stuff that I potentially could use in thermal, have them available as we start grinding towards more of the um, more of the tech stuff. I'm going to need more power. This is going to be just an off off camera grind I think to make because it's going to take nine of these to get done. Um, but then when I, when I get that done I'll move over and start working my way down these. And then we just basically work our way down. So we do this one, then we do this one, then we move down to the third one, we do down to the fourth one, and keep moving our way over. And I'm hoping then I can get a decent reactor set up with the power. Power! And then that's going to give us some really good um, energy to be... Um, running all these machines. The lava's doing for now, as long as I don't have like all my machines running at once, which since I'm still running a very manual system, I can do that. Something else I had mentioned to District as a possibility is because this little baby system is limited to eight channels, I could make another baby system for over here to handle everything over here with this limit of eight channels. Um, so I'm still contemplating whether I want to do that or not. I haven't decided. Um, but that's something, something to consider is basically having separate hubs with little AE systems in each of my areas rather than trying to have one massive AE system connected, you know, with pipes, you know, doing the whole thing and with wireless and all that other stuff, because that's all way over my head at the moment, way beyond anything I've ever done so far. So, let's just start here on this side and work our way around and see how far we can go. So this, the alchemical imbuer, will brew potions and imbues fluids. You might want a few of these in a row. Interesting. So, once again, we're going to need machine frame, which will run upstairs to make one of those a brewing stand. Well, what a coincidence. I already have one of those. Ha ha ha. Alright, let me throw the rubber in my backpack for now. My extra buckets. Put these water buckets aside in case we need those. Dump the redstone lamp. 
And I've got Electrum at the ready. <laughs> District did help me. He had gave me a couple of slime pearls. And I was able to make myself a coin of fortune. So I believe I can I do this and do that to turn it on and then put this up in my necklace slot. That so that is on. Now, because we moved to 110, we have actually more more ring slots. Where did I put that ring? I actually have a ring in storage somewhere. I can actually engage it now. Because I'm, there we go. My ring of jump boost, I can actually now put it back on because I actually have more ring slots. So I now have a ring of speed, my ender ring, a ring of night vision, a ring of strength, and I now have more slots available. I can now add my ring of jump boost. All of the bonuses. Give me all of the bonuses. All right. Let's go get some Constantine. All right. Constantine. I need one more Constantine to be able to. There is nickel. I need iron. over here and take the iron. I'm running out of lava. Okay. Let's grab my two empty buckets and put the copper in there. Come over here and Grab a couple of buckets of lava. Put them in here. And I may have to play with the sound settings and all that because everything got reset when I switched from 1.09 to 1.10 because it's a com basically a completely new instance and so none of my settings carried over from 1.09 to 1.10. So I have to basically reset everything and I don't remember exactly where I had everything. Like the easy stuff like I turned the music off so that's easy enough to remember. But like I said one of the things we were just discovered very quickly when everybody joined the server was that creepers blow stuff up. And that's a bad thing, because you don't want creepers blowing your base up. <sighs> so, definitely have got to keep an eye out for creepers, so that we can dispose of them in a prompt manner. Fortunately, my flame sword usually will get rid of them in a couple, three hits if I jump out of the way so they don't cause trouble. Usually? Alright. We're down here. Maybe. Oh, an elevator. Thank you. There we go. And over here. Okay, and we're going to do two of you and one of you. Oh, no, that's Invar. What am I thinking? Oh, my gosh. Constantin. What? Constantin. How have I forgotten my recipes already? Copper and nickel. The I oopsied. Oh well, I'm sure we're going to need the Envar at some point anyway, so we'll just do this. 
Okay, so four of those and one, two, three, four of those. Good grief. Get my pop. Bunch of other things that reset. Some of the quests that I had already turned in have reset to completed but not turned in. So I got to turn them all in again. Um, so a couple of items in Batania. Um, the entire half of the uh, one magic mod. Um, this one, the Mahout. Mahal Tsukai, like everything here that I had turned in had reset, so I got to turn them all in again. So that was kind of weird. I'll take it though, you know, free double rewards. Alright, I'll come over to here, and we'll put those in there for two Constantine gears. Lovely. And then we come back to here, and here, and here. Alright, so we have that. We're going to need some glass and the brewing stand. And we have the brewing stand. I should probably dump some of this food in there. So I think Jordy noticed the scrolling capabilities on chests have been removed. So now the chests of they feel larger. It's still the same 135 slots in this chest, but you don't have the ability to scroll in them anymore. So it just, it feels larger because you're actually able to see all of the contents in the chest at once now. No, that pan, pan go in there. All right, so we'll take care of that. And then I need a couple of glass. I don't have, how do I not have any glass? Didn't I make like an entire, oh, because it's still in there. I would say I made an entire stack of glass. I know I should have glass. Okay, so there's the gears, there's that. Put this up here so I can see what I'm doing. Alchemical Imbuer. Here we go. Okay, for this, I need the copper wire and the gold wire. Okay, so let me grab a gold. And another copper. And then run upstairs to the metal press. Yep, upstairs. Get in. There. I definitely need to clear that aisle way a little bit better here. Okay, over here, it is still set to wire. So we're going to do a gold ingot. Hello. A gold ingot. And a copper ingot. Takes care of both of those. And then I'm going to need you. And then if we do this, 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 there's that. And I will put these back in there. Okay, so the only thing. this is missing now is the machine frame. So now I'm going to need the glass. So I will put half of the glass in there so that will keep me going there for an awful long time. And then we're going to need tin and we're going to need a circuit board. So that means we're going to need all of the stuff that's in here. Oh, I wonder if gold is going to become an issue. <laughs> I do not know. That's it. Ooh. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. My water wheels are gone. chunks. F3 and A. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. all the time to refresh my sounds. I did not know about the F3T to reload chunks. That is very good to know. Okay, so where are we going to? We're going to need to go get some copper and tin. So we're going to get, let's get eight copper. Twelve ten. All right, so we have this is already set up, and we'll take the copper. Okay, while that's working, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff in storage in my backpack. We have more room to work with. No, 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 we do not want that. We do not want that. No, 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 no. Put that away. We do not want you randomizing my base. Thank you very much. Interesting. It's doing it, but it's not doing the animations. It's very interesting. Okay, so I got that. Then we're going to go downstairs. We're going to go to our multi-servo. We're going to take this out and put the tin in so we can make it into the tin plates. But they have to be the thermal tin plates, not the create. Some of these recipes are very picky about which mod version they want, and some don't care. So we have to pay attention to stuff like that. And then I'll put that back in there. Then we'll run these over to here and put those and those in there. So we're good there. Then we're going to need insulating glass. I already know I'm going to, oops, I'm going to need a couple of my iron ingots crushed. Over here. Oh, all of my A's are gone here. Oh, that's bad. I'm about to set those back all up. Insulating glass here, here. Okay, what am I missing in the middle? Something green. That's my cactus. Cactus. Cactus is right here. 
and then I'll pop you in there. Makes my insulating glass. Okay, and then we will pop that in there. So now we have the glass, the copper plate, the redstone. We're going to need lead wire and the gold block. Okay. So we're going to need. One lead ingot, oh snap, we're out of lead. <sighs> oh, no we're not, Phew. they were hiding in here. That's a bronze pickaxe, but it doesn't look bronze at all. That's weird. Okay, let's run that up here. is doing some work. Decrease the minimum spawn delay of a spawner to five. He's, I believe that means he's speeding up a spawner. Very cool. All right, let's run over here and see how much gold do we have. 21. We have enough to make a block of gold. In fact, let's go ahead and make two. Because we're going to need a whole bunch of these circuit plates. Uh, up here. Okay. And pop that in there. Boom. Boom. And there is our machine frame. And then we can now make our alchemical imbuer. Alchemical imbuer. At least we can if I can type. Alchem alchemical imbuer. There we go. Boom and boom and boom. There we go. And down. 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 Lovely. Okay. So let's just start over here in, hmm. let's just start here in the corner and we'll put you down there and let you start charging up. We're going to need so many upgrades and everything for all of these things, it's not even funny. We'll grab our loot, and the instead of the loot popping up in the middle of the screen, now it only records it up here in the upper right. So that's going to take some getting used to. So next we're going to have a red stern, redstone furnace. Lem lem, lem lem, lem lem. What's lem lem? I don't know. Smelts things using Fe. Uses very little energy to cook food. Okay, so this is copper gears, another redstone flux coil, another machine frame, a couple bricks, and some redstone. Okay, so first of all, do we have bricks? 
FBI. I do have bricks. So let me put the glass away. Grab this. Whoa, that's not a block of brick. That is. Boom, boom, boom. And grab our redstone. Grab a red. One redstone. Okay, and then I'm going to need copper gears. I'll run over here. gears. Okay, then I need to come up here and borrow one of you. Actually, we're going to need to make more of that, aren't we? <laughs> going to need copper and gold. There's, oops, going down. Gold. Copper. So set to wire. I'm going to do copper and gold wire. Oh, hello. Wire. Boom and boom. I'll do here, and it's the same one as here. I need the Constantan, which I put downstairs. I move so fast, it's ridiculous. Boom, boom. Here, 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 here. Okay, and we're making now redstone furnace. Redstone furnace. Okay, now the only thing we need is this, which means we need to make another one of these, which means we're going to need two lead, and I don't have any lead. course means we get to go raid a Kumidori. My plan right now is to go and mine the living daylights of the mining dimension during district stream on Friday to help restock all of my supplies and then hopefully Kumidori will not mind so much that I've been raiding her supplies of everything. Uh, that doesn't look like lead. Uh, lead? Lead? No. Alright, let's see. Here's her. Mm -hmm. That's not lead. Lead. Lead, 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 lead. lead. There's osmium. We'll go ahead and take that. Tin. We'll take that. And zinc and bauxite. And platinum. And nickel. Oh, please tell me you have some lead. Pretty please. Silver. Now, why do you have silver over there when you have silver over here? Oh, I'm looking right at the lead. Holy cow! Mr. Mouse. Mr. Rat. She has a lot of lead. We'll take, we'll take a stack of lead. I, I really could use the lead. Oh, Mr. Beetle! Totally needed 
a beetle. <laughs> I think that will give me enough chitin to do a helmet. I think. Hey, you. Really? I just want to put you on fire and you're going to jump in the water? How rude. Where's my bees? I haven't seen the bees. Very strange. And, yeah. Do, 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 do. Hello? Open door, thank you. Then I go the wrong direction. Here we go. And here. I go up. And then we're going to do two of these. Two of these. Actually, let's do three. I'll put it in even number divisible by three. There we go. I am just so speedy. Ridiculous. Okay. So then I'm going to need more redstone. And I. Seriously. Really? Wow. Yeah, this is seriously buggy if it keeps forgetting these things exist. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we can no, no, I I don't want to climb the climb the vines, thank you. I I don't want to do that. Okay, and let's put all of this in here for now. think I have any iron. I have a little. Phew. Okay, hopefully it's enough to make another here. This. And here. This and this. can put that in there. Okay, so we've got the copper. Oh, I didn't save any to crush some of that iron powder. Oh, dummy. I goofed. Oh, I didn't goofed. See how much chitin do I have there? CH. I have six. Which I'm pretty sure the next one in Druid Craft. Let me punch up there real quick. Do 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 do. Next one there is the helmet, which takes five. Okay. So we'll do that. There is the helmet. Okay, I need a Pop that there, so Kumidori can touch that. Give me iron! No, oh, a bucket of cod. I have steel. That's a silver sword. I need iron. Okay, that doesn't go there. There's a place in the wall for it. Okay, hold on. 
let me think here. Those are all silver. Okay, that's iron. I should be able to recycle it. That's iron. I should be able to put take a, that great length off of it to add to something else with a common book. That's silver, that's silver, that's silver. That's iron, that's iron. And I got a whole bunch of iron boots. All right, come over here to the disenchanter. We'll put you in there. And then here. Oh, I gotta take that out. Take that. And take that. And take that. And then we'll put this. Take that. Take that. Take this. Take this. I'll take this. I'll take this. Take this. I'll take this. Okay. Now I have got to start finding places to put all of these magic books because I'm running out of room. All right. I'll put these over here, and we'll start recycling these to get me more iron. I am loving this salvager. It is a sweet little tool. I need to I need to figure out a way. Uh, I need to make a bunch more of those wooden crates so I can carry a bunch of them in my dank so that I can just grab all of the iron, gold, any type of gear. Maybe not leather. But, like, any of the gear that I find when I'm in a dungeon, I can grab all of the gear, come back, disenchant it, and recycle it. Because this is far easier than going mining. Oh, I didn't put one of these away. And now I have a mending book. Because now my that has mending, that has mending, my helmet does not. Let me go find one of those common Dang it. My own base, and I don't know which floor to get on and off yet. It's going to be destroyed. I won't be able to melt it down, but that's okay because I can take. Oh, I think I have to put it in. It has to be. I think. Do I put that in the disenchanter maybe? Or no, the anvil. I put it in the anvil. Where do I put that? Oh, district walked me through it, and now I don't remember. Let's go ahead and heal it up. Uh, uh. Doesn't cost me anything except from energy to do that.
can't remember. Is it is the anvil? Do you put the tool in the book? Yep, it is. Ah! Great lengths, it increases the reach distance. So now I can do this. So this, I already have a reach distance bonus of 0.69. So if I put this in here and I put this in here, I can increase it to a reach distance of 1.01. .01. It'll cost me 30 levels, but I don't care about that because we have an XP farm that extends my reach. Nice! That is what we want. Okay, so now we will go ahead and do one, two, three, four, grind these up. Oh good, we still have our emotes. Okay, so there is that. Now I'm going to need some more cactus. And I'm going to need some more... Okay, cactus and... Wait, wait, wait. Need more of that. You already have mending on you. Okay. Here's that. Here's that. And I only have 20. I haven't put a lot of enchantments on there, so hopefully I will have enough levels. Oh yeah, it's only two. Oh! There went my anvil. But I got mending on there. That's the important thing. Woohoo! Now I have mending on all three of my netherite equipment. I don't have it yet on my diamond equipment. Although, eventually it would be nice to replace the diamond equipment with a piece of netherite equipment. But, it's a pretty good piece of diamond equipment with Mana Boost 3, Step Height, Traveler, and Blast Protection 4 on it. So, I'm really not going to complain too much about it right now, being only diamond, right? You know, it's, it's, you know it's, it's a pretty good piece of equipment. Okay, so now we need our insulated glass. Insulated glass. Oop. How am I spelling this wrong? Oh my gosh. I've lost the ability to type. Let's go ahead and make two batches of that. Put the glass away. And pop in here, pop in there. Boom, and... There's that, and we're making a redstone furnace, redstone furnace, boom, what am I miss? oh, it should be in here, redstone furnace, oh, I put my redstone away. <laughs> now my redstone furnace, boom. Okay. For now, we're just going to put it right there. I imagine as we move along, we're going to find machines that 
naturally belong next to each other and we'll want to rearrange these. Um, so don't be surprised if things do not stay next to each other very long. This is just a matter of getting them in place and down. So blast chiller rapidly freezes items and fluids can use a forming mold with fluids to determine the output. Okay, so we need packed ice, invar gears, glass. Okay, invar gears. I know I've got invar. That's upstairs. Do I have eight in water? Oh, of course, I have seven. All right, so we'll put two of you and one of you and run you down here. Wait, 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 wait. into here. Boom, boom. Okay, two there, put two there to make two in bar. Okay. And up to here and take one of those out. Okay, now we need a gold and a copper. Gold. Copper. Gold, copper, gold and copper. I'm gonna drop down here, make this. I am missing the Constantine, that's downstairs. At least it is if I get on the right floor. Do, 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 do. Now I've got the constant tan. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. And now I'm doing a blast, blast, blast chiller. Okay, so I need glass and packed ice. Okay, I should have. Here is the glass, and here is the packed ice. Okay, so then got this and the glass we just need the circuit board to make the circuit board we have this and this and this and this we just need a block of gold and I'm thinking we're out of gold so let's run over to our hidey hole because it's going to be sunset here in a second anyway and see if we have some gold gear that we can Disenchant and recycle to get some more gold. Okay, so there's some food that can get moved over. There's a golden axe. That can just be recycled. Nothing to be done there. Um, that can get put away. That can get put away. My sling, slime sling, that needs to go in here. 
Okay, here's a golden chest plate with projectile protection four. There's another iron sword. Iron sword with beheading one. There's another potion that can be moved over. Looking for, okay, golden sword with venom. What was that? Venom six. Okay, an iron hoe, that can just be recycled after I heal it up to maximum. There's a couple gold rods, I might be able to melt those. Oh, there's a couple of gold ingots and some gold nuggets. What a deal. What is that? Oh, a reinforced iron chest plate. Uncommon. Okay, so if I find an uncommon... There's an uncommon. I'm gonna need... Oh, but I'm gonna need iron to make a new anvil. an unbreaking three. Oh, a smite four. No good thingies to take off. An iron sword of latent magic common. Um... Put this in here. I'll put that in there. I'll put that in there. So I have another common book. Common. Common. That's common. 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 Yes. Still need an anvil, but we'll figure that out in a minute. the sleeping thing. Someone's on fire over there. I should help them. Not by putting them out, but by helping them burn more. Oh, it's a creeper too. Goodbye. <laughs> this in there. I have more food. Okay, so food, food, food. Uh, potion bottles came in to play there. Okay, so... Where did I put the iron? Oh, it's in the other box, isn't it? Okay, so I've got aluminum steel and aluminum. And more steel, and more zinc, and more copper. I'll clear a little bit out of here. Okay, but I can't, I don't want to melt those until I get stuff off of it. Okay, so I can come over here and we can do you. You and you and that takes you off. You're just ready to go. If 
Da 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 da. And then you. This gives a player a chance for getting a mob head or a player head. Creatures from other mods can be added to the config file and need a player skin as a head. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Alright. Da 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 da. Alright, let's do. Alright, so here I need to heal this. I need to heal this. Alright, so let's see. So the golden axe can just get melted down for gold. Oh my gosh, he's up to 10 villagers! Shifter! Okay, and then this one. And then this one. And, okay, so not that one, not that one, do that one. This is something I know District and Potox have been spending a lot of time doing, is disenchanting and recycling their gear from dungeon crawling. And it helps a lot. All right, so here's that. There's more steel. There's the aluminum. There's the aluminum steel. Do I have invar over here? Okay, we are going there for now. Then zinc goes there. Copper goes there. Can I melt these back down? Yes. And that gives me one ingot. I'll take it. We will take it. Okay. So I need my thing here. Or an new anvil anvil uh, anvil whoa, whoa whoa an anvil can be enchanted one I don't have any bookcases around my enchanting table, though. Anvil can be enchanted? You can put Unbreaking 3? Please tell me I have a lapis. Seriously, I don't have one. Stay right there. <laughs> Come here. Whoa. Dear God. Protection six, mending, unbreaking three, glue, magnet three, end veil, mana regen, veteran, beekeeping two, mana. Okay, is there. Is there you do, oh, dear Lord. All right, so if I want to do, oh no, wait, that doesn't do me any good because I don't have the bookcases. Can 
Can I enchant it with no bookcases though? I totally can. Unbreaking three and tombstone soulbound on my anvil. That is totally cool. Okay. Oh, does it lose its enchantment when you put it down on the ground, though? That sucks. Okay, so I want reinforcement off of this, which is an uncommon. So I do this, and that will... And I need 18 levels for that. So I need to come over here and I need to have a... Uh... Okay, so let's see here. Uncommon. Armor toughness. Take that off. Then I can add toughness. So I already have 379 of toughness to that. I have three toughness there, three toughness there. So you have the least if I put you and you I will make you reinforced okay come back over here doo, doo, doo. no no let's tuck it down yeah. here okay so I can then make this a reinforced netherite helmet Peachy King. So then I want to take the enchantability thing off of this. So this and this. That's another 18. Okay. Over here. Sword. Common enchantability seven. So if I take this and add this. Okay, it's already at 7, this is 7, it's only going to increase to 10. If I add it to this one... It gets the full seven. So we want to do it to there. It's going to take me 16 levels to do that. Okay. Oh, I'm out. It's okay. Oh, but I'm out of XP to be able to go to the XP farm. Ah, that's not good. It's all right. We can uh, put my armor back on and leave that book there for future reference. And we can take 
take that off. Add more books. Oh my gosh, more books. Uh, book, 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 book. Okay. I need to go melt the golden chest plate down. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> so much recycling. But that will give us enough gold. I can take this upstairs or one of these bounces boom boom over to here and then up here and I'm working on a blast blast chiller oh I put my other stuff away didn't I no oh, that was bad my glass and my packed ice got put away Get it back. What? Glass. Packed ice. And blast chiller. Okay. And reward a sugar cookie. Yummy. I've already eaten a sugar cookie. I do no recollection of eating a sugar cookie, but okay. All right, we'll put this one on top. Rapidly freezes items and fluids. Can use a forming mold with fluids to determine the output. Which I assume that's what goes here. Okay, let's look at Oh, I got temporary haste when I ate my cookie. Alright. Oh! So I can turn molten gold into an ingot. With a ball cast, I can make snowballs. Oh, with a ball cast, I can turn resonant ender into ender pearls. I can make a Bisbee spawn egg. I can make honey treats. Interesting. So that can be used for B progression. Okay. Uh, fractioning still not drinkable. <laughs> okay, and I've used that before. So I need invar gears and copper ingots. Uh, invar gears, copper ingots. Okay, so we've got copper gears and then invar need nickel and I use all the iron again. One iron. Because that's zinc. It's not going to help me. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, 
I found more iron. Okay. I found more lead too. Nice. All right. So That's going to be enough though. Got iron and nickel. Nope, that's not enough. Okay, do I have any more iron? I have iron bars, but I do not want to melt down iron bars. <laughs> okay, let's look over here and look for anything gear-wise. That's all silver gear. Silver, 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 silver. There's another iron helmet. All of these iron smith hammers. I suppose I could take all of those out. that. Okay. It has to go in the arc furnace or It actually has a purpose on smithing things. I did not know. So we'll probably want to hang on to this somewhere. Ding, ding, ding. So we're going to have to... End veil. Wearing a helmet enchanted with this prevents endermen from aggroing you when you look at them. Ooh. We'll definitely want to add that to my helmet at some point then. That's for sure. Yeah, that's a problem if you can't get to... the XP farm to get XP. I should have gone before I used all the XP in my tank. I didn't even think of that. Didn't even think of that. I'm not used to having an XP farm, so that's just an aspect that I'm not used to having available. So, I'll grab those. Okay, so we have those, we have those. I can get glass, and now we need 
gold and copper for that. Okay, we're still good on gold there. Constantine. I did it again. There's one there. Nope, stop climbing the vine. Okay, I don't have any Constantine there. Constantine is... I don't know why I can't remember this. Copper and nickel. two for the craft. Oh, I have the golden sword still to take care of. Okay, we will start pulling out these ingots. Fractioning still, we need glass. And why are the glass bottles in there? Those should be in my backpack so I have them handy when going dragon hunting. And then carrots belong in there. Goodness gracious. Okay. I've got those and I'm gonna need I think that and that. Out of iron. 
Insulated glass. Yep. Insulating. No wonder I keep doing it wrong. I'm going to need another block of gold, and I'm going to need more lead. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm going to need to come over here, and I want to do this. I'm going to want to... Do that. that is that going to be enough gold to make a block not even close I'm so close. Oh, I do have much more of these. Oh, gosh darn it. Made more when I didn't have to. Ugh. It's interesting, it's not letting me drop multiples on there like it normally does. Alright, so there's that. I've got to find some gold. Hopefully, Akumadori has a little bit. I don't need much. I just need a couple. Closed door. Happy. Okay, there's that. Over to here and boom. Okay, so that makes one of those. Now it's missing the tin plates. So I gotta make tin plates. Once resources are not an issue, I can have multiples of these machines. One to make plates and one to make gears. So 
for now. We're just... That was weird. And then we'll put the plates in. This new machine frame. And then we can make... What am I making? The fractioning still. Frax still. Here we go. Boom. 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 Another carrot. Oh my god, these damn carrots. Is there any use for these carrots? No. Literally, there is no use for these carrots. Except to feed the horse. I can't even recycle the carrots. <sighs> uh, what a waste. Alright, let's put you... Let's see. Mm -hmm. and put that there. Alright, that's that one. And we've got a fluid encapsulator. Fills containers with fluids. This is required to consume certain beverages. Let's see here. You. Okay, so this is an alternative way of making concrete. Another way of making those bottles of enchanting. Okay. Another way of making bottles of honey. for a snack. Uh, let's see, what should we have for a snack? Uh, go ahead and have a pasta with mutton chop. Alright, so this one we need copper, glass, a bucket. Okay, so I've got bucket. Whoop. My sticks are apparently full. Interesting. Okay, and I can put the empty bowl away. Alright, so then I'm going to need, this is the fluid encapsulator. I need copper gears and glass. Take the glass. I don't mind it raining because I have a flower that makes mana when it rains, so it can rain away as far as I'm concerned. And then go here and here for the gears. Okay, and then we're going to need copper and gold. I'm going to have to go raid right a Kumadori again. Da, 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 da. Thank you. I'll pay you back eventually. 
probably. Okay. We're going to do a couple blocks of gold. Oh, we don't want to have to do that all the time. We'll grab a couple of copper. wait for it to finish the destruction cycle before I throw them on here so they don't get yeeted. I'm standing right here. It will not let me put more than one on at a time now. It, they've changed that. Which is not necessarily a bad thing because... <laughs> They will tend to get heated off, which is a bad, bad thing to have happen. Okay, let's go ahead and make two of those. Okay, so now I just need this. Alright, so now I've got that, that, there's my box of gold. I need my insulating glass, which means I need my... Iron! I need my iron. Oh, oh not that's for pewter. Iron. not have any iron. Why is bronze the same color as slime wood? That makes no sense. And steel is the same color too. I hit the wrong button. I meant to do F3A, not F3T. Alright, we'll pause for a couple seconds while it reloads the sound. Let's try 
the right key combination here. Did that fix the colors? No. All of the tinker parts are white. That's crazy. Mm. Oh, you can make a fridge. Come with her like that. I don't want to take her powdered iron because she may need that. I may need, well, either one of us may need that for the a silver sword. That's all of her food. She's got a lot of food. Rose gold. How are you supposed to tell any of the Tinker stuff apart? They're all the same color. Ay, ay, ay. That is like so super annoying. Uh. annoying oh my gosh oh I will take her cactus make that green <laughs> Kumadori has a blue heart oh my gosh she has a nice collection of diamonds it'd be a shame if something happened to them kidding kidding Mostly kidding. Ah, there's an iron axe. We could take that. Well, that might be her iron axe, though. I better not take that. That might be her only axe. I don't know if she has an axe on her person. Uh, she has no iron. Okay. What are we going to do? It's going to fall in the hole. No, we're not going to do that. We are going to fall into a hole. Oh, well, that's just great. This way. Now I know now that this stuff is safe to grab. I was ignoring it for the longest time because I wasn't sure if, like uranium, if it was radioactive or potentially dangerous to grab. So I wasn't taking any chances. Just like that, 16 iron. Um, seriously, really? I just fell right back in the hole. My tank. Oh, I hang. 
hang on. My options control dank. Oh, not dank. Uh, key I. that off. Take that off. Actually, Ring of Ender, let's make that, um, insert. Okay. So now I can do this. Lovely. Grab this coal. Hello, iron. That's what we'll take. We'll take all the iron. Apparently I've already pillared out of this once. Oh, hello. Now this is that large flat area that was filled with mobs. And District had me literally run down here and run around in circles <laughs> to reduce the number of mobs that were spawning down here. And since I did that, the number of mobs that I had obviously has greatly diminished. And I've not had the random explosion problem, which I'm very grateful for, needless to say. I really do not like listening to random explosions that have absolutely no reason for happening. Like, okay. I literally just dropped myself right back in the hole. Uh, I'm going to be very careful of getting that iron. And that would be why. <laughs> I had a feeling there was a gravel. Hello. No, 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 no. We are not throwing our pickaxe away. Thank you. What are you thinking? reminds me where that means I can uh, now that I have the extra ring slots I can also put my ring of magnetism back on <laughs> I have all the rings give me all the rings I want all the rings We're getting some levels back. This is good. Man, if you watch some of the uh, earlier episodes of the series and the quantity of mobs that were down here is a night and day difference. I mean, it is 
silent down here in comparison now. I can just run around here, grab all of this iron. And this coal, oops. That's where I got those gemstones from. Oh my gosh, so much iron. This is great. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Do go home. Sleep. got a whole stack of iron just running around there. That was so sweet. Put that in there. We got some zinc. Very nice. Oh, wait. I need one more. I can get two blocks here. Here. One more. A little baby smeltery. We'll continue grinding our way through thermal for a bit. It is extremely repetitive because you're just making making the machine frame over and over and over again and fortunately that assembler makes things so much easier. Oh. All right. Here we go. Up here. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Pop those in there. Actually, do four because I've got two green dye that I got from Akumadori. Okay, and then. That, 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 and that gives me four of those. And we'll add those in there. Boom! There is our machine frame. And then our fluid encapsulator. Boom! Okay. And then we'll add that to here. And the reward. Fish and chips. Lovely. Sawmill. Cuts logs into planks and reprocesses wooden objects. Reprocesses wooden objects. Now what do you mean by that? Dark oak. Oh, so 
dark oak beam, stripped oak block, okay. Wait, melons? You can put melons through the sawmill. Okay. So you can put, oh, you can put the frost melons through there as well. Interesting. All right, so how bad is one of these? Copper gears and a saw blade. Now, a saw blade we should be able to do. Come over here. We need nine copper. We do here, and we do sawmill. Sawmill. Here. Here, here, here. Okay, and then we need two copper gears. Run over here. Okay, got to go in. Okay, over to here, here. Okay, so there's that. Then, going to, we've already got that. Um, here, here, what do we need? We need stone, okay, let's run over here, and let's do this, and then we can get two stone, oh, man, close door. My 17 levels, my enchantability, I should now be able to put it on my chest plate. I have just enough. So we can do that. Boom. I'll be I'm back down to one now, but that's okay. That is okay. All right, so then I just need the machine frame. So now let's go see what do we need to make one last machine frame for tonight. Oops. Okay, so we've got this, 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 this. We need the lead wire. So let's go over here. Here, grab lead to make the wire. not let me drop multiples. I mean, that's good because you won't, oops, you don't lose anything on the cleanup. And sawmill. And down. Okay. And we'll put you, actually, let's put you over here. Oops. I 
think sawmill, I think that one, until I get the manufacturer, I think that one is going to be potentially very useful. Grab the reward there. Another steel broad. That's good. I can melt that down to get free steel. So the centrifugal separator. This, of course, is another very useful tool. But it is already 10 o'clock. We need to call it a night so I can get to some sleep. Because I have to work tomorrow. But we got about going the wrong direction here. Oh, that's right. I need to go here. We got about halfway through the machine, so that is pretty good. That's up. And down. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Every single one of them is the exact same color. You cannot tell them apart. Oh, I hate it. Ooh, yuck. Absolutely god awful. I hate it. Oh my god. Ooh, yuck. I'm not liking this at all. And no, 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 no. With a fishy? There, my little fishy. Or I only have one little fishy. Should have had two. My little blue gray fishy is here. Where's my little red one? Oh man, I lost a fish. Well, that's bad. Well, no wonder if you're like little happy jumpy fishies. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's get a little more clean up here real quick. And then we can get out of here. Got some more food. And I got my tool. And then I believe I've got... That can go there these ingots of what okay so here is nickel here is constantan and here is that and that my dank time in a bottle not have any other rewards done. So yeah, we got half of the machines done, which is awesome. Hopefully things go well. I'll be able to stream tomorrow night. We'll maybe be able to knock the other half of the machines out, which would be great. And then it'll be a matter of knocking out all of these various uh, other tools and all of the upgrades and um, other uh, modifiers that you can put in the machines, which will be hopefully relatively easy. I mean, we'll be able to knock a bunch of those things out. Then we can knock all the dynamos out and maybe we can kick through... Um, thermal fairly fairly quickly because that would be pretty awesome so Kumadori actually already has oh I could I could do that so Kumadori already has that she's got the I'll just go steal hers. <laughs> Let's 
save me some resources if I just steal hers. Do, 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 do. All right, now I got to find it. Uh, the blue wrench. See, there's the book. Where is that blue? Oh, wait. Tool. She got it in her toolbox. There. All right. Go. And go. Okay, now I know I have... I have a dimensional shard. I know I've got that. Uh, question is, do I have it in here? Oh, another diamond horse armor. More food. That can go in there. Oh. That's a common, it has armor toughness. Okay, do I have another common book? Common. Common. I know I grabbed some dimensional shards from. Ah, oh, there, there. Boom. More sugar cookies. Okay, fine. Seems like my diamond and my ender pearls have been transferred. An infused diamond and an infused ender pearl. Okay, I can totally do those. Okay, I gotta be careful. There's a couple of creepers. Fortunately, I can outrun them. Pretty sure. I know, I know, I was going to bed. I know, I totally know. This is what happens all the time. Oh, I could do that. Oh, that'll well, just take a minute. <sighs> okay, so here's this. Surround that. That gives me one of those. And then if I do. Ender pearl here. Here's one of those. Okay. Um, let's put you, 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 and you in there. Boom. More pig iron. Okay. have those. Where is that? Okay, there's those. And then where's my... I don't think I have smooth stone already, do I? Look, get off of there. S M. No, I have smooth stone slabs, but not smooth stone. Never fails. I think I'm done for the night. No. Oh, wait! I can actually start this. I didn't realize I could. Ugh. Well, now, am I better off?
Hmm. I take the smooth stone and the three of these, and that makes me a sheen base. Boom. Put that there. See, I've already made a timer. There's a whole bunch of stuff there I need to make, though. Information screen and screen. Then the expanded machine frame, okay. Oh, all the shape cards. Oh my gosh. All the shape cards. There's another horse armor to add to that collection. But I could probably heal that diamond chest plate up. Then get the diamond off of it. And then heal this. Go back here. Okay. So if I do this, boom, boom, and if I do this, whoa! Attracts all experienced orbs in a 32 block radius towards you? Oh, snap! So then I could put this and the common on there to get armor toughness off of it. Okay, so I'm going to put this. Oh, let's see, that's getting full. Uh, go over here. Okay, so put this and this so I can get that armor toughness off. Light meal, they go fast. That's why it gives you haste. <laughs> very funny. That's very funny. The book's back in there. Okay, I can go recycle these boots. Boom. Just a little light cleanup before we go. Put this and this and the cookie in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. And that. And more pig iron. And that. Okay. And we'll head back home. Okay. Well, that was an unexpected surprise. Thanks to Kuladori getting us started, we've managed to get a little bit of a dent into RF tools. There's not a lock to XNet. And that apparently is a very powerful piping system, which I think Shifter uses that 
and it's very, very helpful. I just started using these in my E2E playthrough, and I think these would be potentially very helpful once we get going with mechanism. Rather than having all of my mechanism machines in our overworld, if I could have my mechanism set up in different compact machines, you know, have my, my mechanism room, but instead have compact machines around the walls and have different functionality in my mechanism processing in those compact machines, that potentially could be very, very useful. There's still so much to do. I mean, look at all this stuff in mechanism, guys. This is crazy. So much to do. Oh my gosh. But happy with that progress. Got half of the machines done. We'll try and get the rest of them done hopefully tomorrow. And then we'll start working on all of the little add-ons and all these other things. Friday, again, District Sparks normal Friday night stream. And we'll probably take that night off from streaming so that I can do mining, bring in more resources so that I'm not stealing all of the Kumadori stuff. Because ah. she'll be busy working on decorating the inn. Apparently it's not a diner anymore. It's an inn. Um, where she will then be providing food to everybody else on the server to be helping them with all of their hearts. That should be very, very cool. And then Saturday will be our new mega streaming extravaganza. So we start with District Spark in the morning and then switch over to uh, DC and JC Gaming in the afternoon. And then they follow up with me in the late afternoon and evening. And it's a great little trio of streaming all from the CT2 server. So should be tons of fun this weekend. And of course, here in the States, it is a holiday weekend. So it is my hope that I can do some extra streaming on Monday. So that should be quite fun. So this has been Chroma Technology 2 version 1.10 was just dropped today. Very, very excited. Some good changes, some not so good changes, some very bad bugs, but we are working our way through it. I'm Katiana. I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. I will be uploading tonight's installment to YouTube where the entire archive of my CT2 series can be found under Katiana Swift Arrow. You can also catch up on my E2E series and my DDSS series there as well. And if you like what you saw in tonight's episode, please hit that follow button, get a notification of the next time I'm streaming live here on Twitch under Katiana1, and be sure to check out the rest of the streamers here on the CT2 server, District Spark and Potox and Shifter and everybody else having a blast building this crazy, crazy world and doing all sorts of great builds and all that. Sundays are the tours on District Spark stream so you can actually visit and see what everybody is up to. We did our first round of tours this past Sunday. It was amazing and I can only imagine we'll see more and more very cool things in the weeks to come. So for now I will be signing off. Everybody please stay safe, take care, have a good evening, and we'll see you next time. Good night everybody!